Okay, so we're just doing a, uh, a quick demonstration here of the uh, the first prototype we now have of the uh, the what we call in the, the rhizome retriever, which is our simple tool that lets you on a serval mesh um, share files across the mesh, and the, the files just go one hop at a time, which is very efficient. It avoids the uh, the loss of uh, bandwidth and capacity that happens if you try and send multi hop all at once. But of course, it means that we can get uh, data many hops. It just goes one hop at a time. So what we can do here, you can see there's a few files that are available and there's uh, two phones on the mesh. Uh, that's our other phone there. It's just got the, uh, the same files available at the moment. And uh, what we'll do, if I hit the menu and choose import, uh, we'll probably change the names of these to make them a little bit clearer. Uh, so here are all the files that are on the, uh, on the phone. So I can just pick a file, uh, so let's you know, we want to get some safety information out to people, so we'll choose safety update. And as you can see, it's uh, very simplistic at the moment, but uh, it'll let us you know, enter a name uh, and a version for the file. So we'll just say PGS. Oops, if I can spell PGS. Apparently, my fingers are too large for this phone. And we'll say that it's, I don't know, version 5 of the file. And then we'll just tell it publish. So now we can see there are four files. Safetyupdate.doc is now on this phone, which is uh, not plugged into anything. And if we just keep an eye on this one here, in fact, as we've been moving over, um, it's literally transferred that file over the mesh in that time to this phone. And if we brought another phone in, um, you know, that would be getting it transferred to it as well as we talk. So in practically real time, we can distribute files across a serval mesh. So this has a number of uses. We can use it to share um, OpenStreetMap data, for instance, to use with the serval mapping service. Uh, we can actually use it to distribute updates to the serval software itself over the mesh without requiring any supporting infrastructure. You could be underground or wherever, and you'd actually be able to update the software uh, on all your mesh phones and keep them all the, uh, the same latest version. Or you might take a photo and want to share it with people. There's a whole pile of things you can do. Um, and you know, it requires no supporting infrastructure. It's just you know, these phones. And it will spread as far and wide as there are phones running this software. So uh, we've got quite a bit that we want to do to improve this. But we're really happy that we have the means to, uh, to transfer files like that uh, in such a, an automatic way. And uh, we hope that it will get used in a variety of ways that will help a lot of people. So uh, that's it from Serval Labs today.